This is the second 7.1 video. We're going to look at the next objective and learn how to create a sampling distribution using all possible samples from a small population. And then we are going to learn how to distinguish among the distribution of a population, the distribution of a sample, and the sampling distribution of a statistic. So to illustrate this, we're gonna start with a really small and simple example where my 4B class is very small. And let's just assume there were only four students who took the cumulative quiz. So their scores were 60, 70, 80, and 90. First, I want to look at the distribution of a population. So in this case, it's a really small class, but it's my population because it's the full class and there's only four people. So I wanna make a dot plot to show the distribution of the population first. So the population distribution is as simple as that. I just distribute, remember distribution shows the outcomes or the values and how often they occur. So in this case, 60 was one of the outcomes that only occurred once, so that's why there's one dot. So I've distributed the population of this variable, which this variable, by the way, is quantitative. It's numerical and it's measuring something. Because when we look at categorical in the next example, you'll see the distribution is gonna look a little bit different. So this is um, quantitative and we distribute quantitative variables with dot plots as one way. We could also make a histogram, but we don't need to here. So next in part B, they want us to take a sample of any two of these scores, find the mean of your sample and make a dot plot of your sample. So this dot plot will be different. This will be the distribution of a sample. They wanted me to take a sample of size two. So I said n is equal to two. And let's just say the people in my sample were the people who scored the 60 and the 70. So to find the mean, obviously I'd add them together divided by two. I'm gonna get 65 would be the mean or the um, our statistic would be X bar because it's the mean of a sample here. Now I've calculated all of the sample means from the six different samples I could take from the population. And I'm going to plot these on a dot plot and that's going to be called a sampling distribution. So a sampling distribution of a statistic is when we take all possible samples and plot a statistic from all possible samples. So I'll draw out a dot plot below and kind of walk you through what that is. So you can see my first sample mean was 65. And I put, instead of a dot, I put an X bar just to re-emphasize that I'm plotting the sample means from each statistic. So this is the dot above 65 represent the mean of the first sample. 70 is here, 75, there's one there, and there's another 75. That's why it's stacked. And then the 80 and the 85, of course. So this is called a sampling distribution of X bar because I've plotted all the X bars from all possible samples from the population. But this is a small population, so it's really easy to write out all possible samples. You'll see in our next example that we could plot any statistic. We could plot the means of the samples. We could plot the minimums of the samples. We could plot the a proportion that's taken from a sample. Whatever we want to plot, we can plot. But in this case, we were plotting the sample means from a very small population. So what is, what is the mean of this sampling distribution? Looks like the balancing point would be 75. And I could also add up all these values and divide by six and see that the mean of this distribution is that. I want you to be used to this notation here. I've got the mean mu of X bar is equal to 75 because this stands for the mean of a sampling distribution of X bar. So for the last question, let's look down and see what's the mean of the population parameter in this population. So back up to the top, they want us to find what is the mean of this distribution here. And you can see that the mean here, if we add them all together, divide by four, we're gonna get a, sam a population mean of 75. This is important to notice because when a statistic, is, when, the, when the mean of a sampling distribution, in this case, the mean of X bars is equal to the population distribution, then it's called an unbiased estimator. 
We're going to look at that more in the next video. Um, but I wanted just to at least introduce you to the concept now. What you need to know now is that a sampling distribution of a statistic is the distribution of values taken by the statistic in all possible samples of the same size from the same population. So again, all possible samples are taken, all possible sample means are plotted. This is a sampling distribution of X bar. So that was the goal to be able to explain what a sampling distribution is. Let's bump back up and refresh to make sure we can tell the difference between the distribution of a population, the distribution of a sample, and the sampling distribution of a statistic, because I see students mix these up all the time. The distribution of the population is when we distribute all people or all scores or all whatever it is in the population. So this here is the distribution of the population. Next, we took a sample of two people and plotted their scores. This is the distribution of a sample. Finally, we plotted all the sample means, and this is the sampling distribution of X bar. I'm really emphasizing this because I see students mix these two up all the time. The distribution of a sample is not the same thing as the sampling distribution of X bar. And from now on, you're going to need to be specific in the distributions you're describing. If, I, if you're asked to answer a certain question, you can't just say the distribution, you need to say which distribution you're talking about. So this is the distribution, the sampling distribution of X bar. But like I've said before, we can distribute all types of, of statistics from samples. Instead of doing a sample mean, you'll see in the next problem, we're going to do the sampling distribution of p hat, where p hat is a proportion from a sample. But we could do a sampling distribution of any statistic. It could be uh, a minimum, a maximum, proportion, uh, the range. But in the next problem, it'll be a little more complex because this was a very small population. And we're going to change looking at categorical data where we're measuring proportions.